Hello, church family. Thank you for joining me for this uh, third episode, this little mini-series that I'm doing called Fitting Words for Troubled Times. You know, I'll, I'll readily admit I intended to do this a number of times this past week. It just seemed like each day some kind of new pressing thing came up and just pushed this right on later into the night. And I'd say, I'll get to it the next day, and I just never could get to it. But So I'll try to be a little bit more regular this week uh, as I'm able to. But I really do want to bring you some, uh, just some encouragement, uh, some grace, so that you might continue to trust the Lord faithfully, even in times of uncertainty. So the person I want to talk to you about today is a man by the name of John Payton. So John Payton was born in Scotland. He was the oldest of 11 children. He started in ministry in his early 20s, and then as he continued on in ministry, he just felt a growing desire to become a missionary. And so at 33 years old, he got married, and he desired to go to the New Hebrides Islands. So this is a little batch of islands in the South Seas, just north of uh, Australia there. It's actually been renamed in modern times Vanuatu. And so he desired to go there, and the thing about those islands is they were full of cannibalistic people. And so everybody in Peyton's life was telling him, don't go there. Don't go. You'll be putting your life in jeopardy. You'll put your wife's life in jeopardy. And he had a very interesting response to the people that were trying to distract him from doing what, in his heart, he knew the Lord was calling him to do. This was his famous response that he told people who said he shouldn't go. He said, look, if I stay here in Glasgow and I die, I'll be eaten by worms. He said, if I go there and die, I'll be eaten by cannibals. He said, what does it matter to me if I'm eaten by worms or if I'm eaten by cannibals? I thought, you know, what a gritty response. And many times in our Christian walk, we need that kind of faith, just a, a gritty kind of faith, a faith that looks reality in the face, doesn't run away from it, doesn't bury its head in the sand, but it looks reality in the face, and it responds with a real grit of trustworthiness and just kind of a dogged grip on trusting in Christ no matter what. I love John Payton's response. I think that's an encouraging response for us. You know, especially in troubled times, how are we to respond? Let's look at what the issue really is at hand and then have that gritty faith uh, to just stare it in the face and say, you know what, come what may, uh, I'm clinging to the promises of my Savior, Jesus Christ. So I trust that it, even in these times of trouble, uh, you are holding on with a gritty kind of faith. You know, it's amazing that John Payton, he spent 15 years on the little island of Anawa there in, that, in those New Hebrides Islands. And it was said that when he went there to that island, there were no Christians, only cannibals. But after being used of the Lord and uh, having a wonderful gospel-filled ministry there on that island, it was said that 15 years later when he left, there were only Christians and not one cannibal left. So what a great uh, encouragement for us to hear of this story, some fitting words uh, during our troubled times. I trust that this has just brought you a little bit of, of grace and encouragement, and may the Lord continue to use us, continue to challenge us during these troubled times that we have that gritty faith to hold on to. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.